we have a new person uh, trying to take shots at uh, Marco yet again, and his name is Kevin. I have seen this person uh, joining uh, Ben Mazza, Alex and Steve, Avery, Nathan, Miss Blooming, and a whole bunch of other people. And on uh, one of uh, Avery's uh, live streams, uh, yeah, he was uh, congratulating uh, Avery for uh, taking down one of the targets. And in this message, uh, this a uh, comment here actually. Uh, Kevin decides to get cocky and uh, types, uh, Marco does realize that no matter what, we'll st still find more evidence of him and the toxic behavior and we'll do more streams on him until he removes himself from the internet and gets brought to justice for good at this point. So, he admits right here that, so, yeah, it's dead obvious, like, these fellas love to do live streams. And what kind of people uh, love to do live streams? People who don't like to work out. They people who don't like to go outside. And in this case, the cyber bullies. Ben Mazza doesn't go outside much. I've never seen uh, or heard of uh, Alex uh, going outside or Steve going outside. Nor did they Avery much. They're the they're the ones who, who will, will uh, throw uh, nasty uh, insults like uh, touch grass to uh, their uh, targets. Uh, and what, yet uh, people who uh, get targeted by them, they those people go outside. Although some people do, I go outside. Ben Mazza told me to go touch grass, Kim. Steve also said the same thing in a New Jersey uh, accent. As he's uh, from, uh, no, he's in New Jersey. Alex also said the same thing. And of course, they'll only call me by my last name because they're so uh, stupid. Uh, and uneducated and you know, and dumb enough to not at least try to say my first name right. And while I literally just have access to most of their photos, uh, you know, while they can't run from that, and they're literally uh, losing steam after uh, their continuous uh, live stream, the uh, Cyber bullying at me, uh, and they all the all that cussing, all those memes, and uh, uh, all that uh, trash. They they were just repeating themselves, and uh, they're running out of uh, things that they can do to try and stop me from countering back. And one thing I've learned about these guys over the past month, I fight back at them in defense. And countering back and de defending people like uh, Seb Levesque, Marco, Brandon, temporary, Gregory, Paul, and um, also uh, Jeffrey. These fellas. They will uh, spend most of the time uh, no, try to uh, attack their uh, victims on Discord voice nights. They'll tell their uh, targets, go into the Discord uh, voice chat right now. And then they'll, uh, they have these, uh, they write down what they're going to ask, which is just 
very similar questions. They'll ask us literally the, the same question. They'll only just a few words, just change a few context. And uh, they'll ask the question that uh, they will uh, interrupt the person. Uh, the one knows uh, their uh, victim is speaking. They will s swear every single sentence, at least one word per sentence. They will yell, they will shout, they will try to stress you out. And then they'll, they'll uh, ask for evidence. But when you show evidence, they will pass it off like not enough, more, more, more. And if you have actually even included a ref reference that uh, evidence that's actually pretty credible and also other people have yeah, verified it and used it for other purposes, uh, yeah, these people are very, uh, since they spend their time uh, just uh, I know, all day just playing video games, uh, live streaming and uh, watching media and uh, not going out for a walk or maybe interacting with their friends outside or even going somewhere with their family. Yeah, they don't even bother. They'll just try to leech as much stuff out of you and they will not give back what they owe you. Their evidence. They will call you pedophiles. And by the way, Ben Raza, Alex and Steve used to uh, expose actual pedophiles like uh, a guy named Tyler Wilson. But nowadays, uh, they will just point fingers and make false accusations and they have uh, you know, this called... Brandon Halpern, you're a pedophile. Sam LeVest, you're a pedophile. Greg Hall is a pedophile. Saint Kim is a pedophile. Well, actually, they call me Kimmy or or Kim in a mocking voice, and they have been they have been uh, been very racist to me because I'm Asian and uh, specifically uh, South Korean, and yeah, they've used a lot of Chinese, Japanese insult at me, and yeah. Since I literally got video recordings of that, I've either recorded it live or uh, when I was literally uh, in a vi Discord voice voice chat on them, or uh, or they were like, uh, I literally just recorded every single message that was being typed down. And since since they could delete their copy, but I have my copy, so yeah. And since, uh, you know, I have my copy, they, you know, cannot, uh, try to defend themselves and, uh, call themselves, uh, innocent. And, yeah, they, they even made a cyberbullying extremist hate group at me, uh, claiming I'm a pedophile and, uh, of a basement full of children. Wow. They don't even have a valid proof for that. But yeah. They're just used. Yeah. They just make uh, false statements. And they don't even have actual valid uh, evidence to back themselves up. Or nor is it logical. So yeah. If you're uh, evidence. If you don't provide evidence. Or and. If it's not even logical, yeah. And this is why these fellas are dead. And people like Kevin here, yeah. When has he shown his evidence? And by the way, since he's on Team Matt, Ben Mazza, Alex, and Steve. They have not even found any valid evidence of anyone being a pedophile. They have even mista mistaken uh, people like Brandon Hackwith for being a pedophile when I actually exposed Brandon Hackwith for being a sexual fetisher 
just like some two people I am uh, fighting since December of last year and also January of this year. Named Harrison White from Clacton on Sea, England, and Sandard Bird from Billings, Montana State, USA. So yeah, since they couldn't even uh, know the difference between a uh, sexual fetisher and uh, and also pedophile, yeah, that's also a big L. And so yeah, Kevin, yeah, you're even taking an L if you are even seeing this video on any of my channels. So yeah, you just took another L. Good luck with uh, proving your uh, innocence or your evidence.